Well, how many people do you know that was a four-time All-American, won an NIT and NCAA title, and won a title in the NBA? That's former Utah Ute star Arnie Farron's basketball career in a nutshell. At age 94, he's still as sharp as ever and has a vivid memory of his experiences in some of the great moments in basketball history. Today, he recounts his time in professional basketball. He played just three seasons in the pros, but he was a key piece alongside a Hall of Famer in leading the Minneapolis Lakers to two titles. The game of basketball has come a long way since its humble beginnings. The game is now global. The NBA is one of the richest and most powerful sports leagues in the world, featuring some of the biggest names in sport. Young players spend one year in college and can't wait to bolt for the millions that await them in the NBA. Well, it hasn't always been like that. When Arnie Farron was a college basketball star at the University of Utah in the 1940s, pro basketball was just getting started. He was a four-time All-American, NCAA and NIT tournament champion. When his college career was done, he had next to no interest in pro basketball. The average player made maybe five or six thousand dollars then to play in the NBA. And he could make that much money in Utah. The NBA didn't even exist as we know it in 1948 when Arnie's college basketball career came to an end. He was drafted by the Minneapolis Lakers of the Basketball Association of America. My wife and I prayed about it a lot, and the thought came to me that if you want to play, you want to be on a team where you can play. So I went back and said to them, where do you see me playing on your Lakers team? And I said, you're offering me money, there must be a reason. And they said, well, you're 6'4", our small forward is 6'4". You obviously can play guard, so there are two opportunities for you. So I looked at my wife and said, go home and move us. <laughs> We're going to Minneapolis. Arnie would join a team that featured one of the greatest players in NBA history, George Mikan. For Arnie, Finding his place on the Lakers wasn't easy. George Mikan was the dominant player at that time. And he lived in a hotel in downtown Minneapolis. And four of the players were his friends. All of a sudden, if I make the team, one of George's friends is gonna get a cut. I did not see the basketball ever. Um, if I take it out of bounds, I throw it in, never see it again. If I take it out of bounds, nobody would ever pass it to me. But an injury gave Arnie the chance to prove himself. He took advantage of the opportunity. I got to start. Scored 22 points. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started after that. Arnie knew his role. Get the ball to George Mikan. He said to me, I took that big long outside shot. He says, Arnie, he said, you probably make 110 out of that. Why don't you throw it into George? <laughs> he can do better than 110. He played three seasons with the Minneapolis Lakers and was a part of two NBA championship teams in 1949 and 1950. The players were good players and they were good people. Wives met together and parties together and, and playing with George was and experience in itself. He walked away from pro basketball in 1951, but 70 years later, he looks back on his experience with pride, knowing he's one of the few that can call themselves an NBA champion. It really was a dead end job. And you played because you enjoyed the game, not because you made any money. And it turns out that well, we can you tell how many people have played here that haven't played on an NBA championship team. Um, and we know this, that you're pretty darn lucky if you do.